Hey everyone, CNC Keith here. In this video, Acorn CNC power user Amir is going to show us how to create a custom PLC program for the Acorn CNC controller by adding an external feed hold button. Let's check it out. Hello, Acorn user. In this video, I will demonstrate you how you know that which PLC program loaded in the CNC 12 and how to start the IO screen so you know that what's the inputs and outputs are what the status of the inputs and outputs are and how you edit and and compile the PLC program and and at the end I install a feed hold push button so you can understand the concept of adding in inputs and output in Centroid PLC. Okay, for to know what's, what is the current PLC in the CNC12 program, go to Utility and go to Options. There is MPU PLC is your source file, PLC source file, okay. And the location of this file is go to window explorer c drive cncm and your source file that's your source file is okay click on it and add it with notepad plus plus okay that's the centroid plc is and centroid has a script type plc's that start with the definition of constants followed by inputs then outputs and then memories and so on the stages comes later okay now this is our source file and i will show you how to compile that file search cmd okay and type go to cncm folder and type mpu compile and your name of your source file in that case it's acorn mill plc dot src is my source file and m and type mpu plc is my destination file and press enter now you can see it compile my source file and there is no error on it. If there is any error, the screen will show you the message, the errors and the line number. Okay. Now I will edit the source program and install a, a feed hold button in it. For that, I need to go to the inputs and I use prop trigger input as my i replace it with my feed hold push button and this is already defined in 769 we need to define it again and otherwise it will create gives the alarm okay for for the logic of push button, we search feed hold Yes, there is the logic. The it says if we push feed hold key or keyboard feed hold or our virtual job pad feed hold button then it's feed hold so we add our feed hold push button also okay that's our logic is save our program and compile it again we already compiled before so you go to the command prompt again and by pressing 
arrows up and down to find your command. So that's my command which is already recorded and then press enter. Okay, now my source file is compiled. Now I restart my Acorn and CNC12 software. Uh, now I tell you how to install a push button to the Acorn. Okay, first I make the header a 24 volt to the common to the my header. Okay, and and one end of the switch I give negative. 24 volt ground of 24 volt and the other and I will insert into input 7 whatever input you need it you, you, I use input 7 to see our status of our inputs and outputs press alt i and you see the four rows the first row will show you the input and output second row is the output third is the memory and fourth is the stages okay now when i press our feed hold push button you notice that feed hold will active now you can notice when i run the program and press Feed hold. The feed hold function will trigger. You can also notice on our virtual jog pattern is where it will trigger. Okay. Press cycle and start again. So it will um, cycle start and when it trigger input seven again, it will trigger the feed home function. I hope this video will beneficial benefit for you. Thanks. Bye bye. Hey everyone, CNC Keith again here. I'd like to add some information to Amir's excellent video. You saw Amir editing the Acorn CNC PLC program with an editor called Notepad++. Now, if you buy a CNC PC from Centroid, Notepad++ is already installed and pre-configured for use with PLC programs and with G-code programs. So I've got an Acorn installation up and running here on my desktop, and if I click F6 Edit, it's going to edit the current G-code program that's loaded here in the job name on the CNC12 software. So what you see here is the excellent little editor, Notepad++, fired up, and here's my flange.cnc g-code program. And this is an excellent little text editor, and you can see it's, um, it's color-coded to make reading g-code easy. And you can get in here and edit and save and do all these uh, search and replace and all these great things um, with this editor. Now, Notepad++ is uh, freely available on the internet. If you don't have Notepad++, just go out to Google and Google Notepad++ um, download, and it'll take you to the notepad-plus.org website. Click on download and download the latest version of Notepad++. Now, once you've downloaded Notepad++, there is an excellent tech bulletin on the Centroid website. So if I just go back to the centroidcnc.com, here it is right here. And um, I'm just going to shut down CNC12 so you all can see my screen. I'm going to shut that down. Let's go back to the Centroid website. And under tech support here, you scroll down to CNC tech bulletins. And then on the tech bulletin page, it's configure Notepad++ for CNC G-code editor duty. And this is the same Notepad configuration that Amir was using in the video. So if you want to have the same capabilities that he was showing you in the video, click on this link. And here is a PDF that you can download that takes you through step-by-step -step of configuring Notepad++ for G-code use and for PLC programming editing use. So very nice thing to do there. Strongly recommended. Uh, it's a great little editor.
The second point I would like to bring up is that there are um, several different ways to um, use an external feed hold button. So let's fire CNC 12 back up. Obviously we have a feed hold button on the virtual control panel, which you can click with the mouse or the touch screen, and that's right here. I'm clicking on it. And another way is to use the keyboard jogging feature for feed hold, which is the space bar. When I hit Alt J, you see this legend shows up, and right here, feed hold is the little name underneath it is space. So if I get the space bar on the PC keyboard, it's the same as feeding hold. So I'm going to just continue running this program. And right now, I'm um, going to, as soon as we get some motion here, it's waiting three seconds for delay. There we go. Let's hit the space bar on the PC keyboard. And you notice it goes into feed hold mode and the little LED shows up on the VCP. Now to get out of feed hold mode, you don't hit the feed hold button again. You hit cycle start and it continues right on its way. So I could click on the touch screen, hit cycle start to continue. I can hit the space bar on the keyboard, hit cycle start to continue. Or I can press the touch screen and hit cycle start to continue. Those are the three common easy ways. Um, another way is to use an X keys pad. And so that plugs into a USB port on the CNC PC. And then you have yet another feed hold button that is these these feed hold buttons that I'm describing are not using an input. Amir used an input on the Acorn board and if you have a free input and you want to wire in a hard feed hold button that is an excellent way to do it. But if you're hurting for inputs and you want to have an external feed hold button but not use an input you can use a, an external X keys pad or use a any other USB keyboard emulator and just simply program the space bar which I just hit as the button you want for feed hold. That's all there is to that. It's uh, pretty simple, but um, you, you know, programming that feed hold button was just a quick, easy way for Amir to show you all how to, the main point of his video was how to edit a PLC program. Okay, I'm gonna press Alt-J to get rid of the keyboard jogging legend. There's one other thing that I wanna talk about is when you create a custom PLC program, when you edit a PLC program and then compile it, and add a custom feature like Amir showed us in his video. If you start the Acorn CNC wizard, let's just go ahead and do that, and press this right settings the CNC control button down here in the lower right, guess what it's going to do? The, a the Acorn CNC control wizard here, it actually creates a PLC program. That's what the wizard does, one of the things the wizard does. The wizard takes this input and output table here where you're going to input uh, information on the different inputs and outputs of the Acorn board uh, of the functionality that you would like. And when you click right settings of CNC control, one of the things that it's doing is it actually custom creates a PLC program to match the selections that you've created here that you've selected and creates a PLC program and compiles it. So if you do that after you created a custom PLC program, the wizard is going to overwrite your customized program. Now, you can still use the wizard when you create a custom program, but you just got to know um, to save your files. So let's go in here to the CNCM directory, which is located in the C drive, and check some things out. Here's the Acorn Mill PLC program. That's the source file. This is the editable file. This is you just open up with Notepad and edit it. You want to copy that out along with the mpu.plc program. The mpu.plc program is the compiled version of that source file. So copy those two files out of the CNCM directory, make a folder, call it custom PLC program, and save them there. That way, if you go in and use the wizard and you hit right settings of CNC control, what you're going to do then is just copy this PLC program and the source file back into the CNCM directory re reboot and then you will still have your customized features of that particular PLC program. Also if you ever if you're customizing a PLC program and you get mixed up uh, it's no big deal just use the wizard to create a fresh one and go start editing from there. So uh, you could use the wizard to create this program right here and then right click edit it and compile it and try again. Also just want to mention if you install new software um, it's a real good idea to 
uh, actually copy this entire directory. You can see I have one right below it here, cncm.406. So this is an old directory. Well, uh, what that does is gives you a copy of all the files. It's just a good way to do things because if you install new software, it's going to overwrite your PLC program, your customized PLC program. So yet another reason to have a copy of that somewhere else other than the CNCM directory. So you can just simply cut and paste it back in there after you install the new software. Also, some of you may be wondering what type of switch Amir was using. Amir was using a momentary, normally open switch so that when he pushes the button, that it closes the input. And when you release it, it opens the input, but the way that feed hold works is that just because you release the momentary doesn't mean things continue on. It waits for a cycle start button to continue on. So if you paid close attention to the video there, you could see him release the switch. And even though the input now is back open, the, the program did not continue on its way. It's waiting for the operator hit cycle start. By definition, that's the way feed hole works. So he was using a normally open momentary switch.